There's something about shipwrecks that fascinates us and intrigues us. Maybe it's their size, the scale, the remoteness, the chance for epic photographs. Or perhaps it's about the stories that they can tell us. Today we're going to cover the top 8 abandoned shipwrecks that can be found strewn across the coasts of Texas and Louisiana. Number 8. The Crystal Beach Shipwreck, Texas This shipwreck is located about half a mile out at sea, near the town of Crystal Beach, Texas. Although it's just about visible from the beach, what caused the small ship to end up wrecked here is not certain. It's most likely perched on top of some kind of sandbar, as you would expect it to be completely underwater, given its long distance away from the shore, but it's not. However, regardless of where it came from, it's received a warm welcome from the birds and possibly other marine wildlife, which have transformed it into a cozy and welcoming home. Number 7. Wrecked Fishing Trawler at Sargent, Texas this wrecked fishing trawler is beached about half a mile inland from the coast near the town of Sargent, Texas. As so many shipwrecks in the area, it was probably a victim of one of the many hurricanes that have slammed into the Gulf of Mexico in recent decades. The fact that it's beached so far inland suggests that it was possibly pushed into its final resting place by a catastrophic tidal surge that most likely left behind a path of incredible destruction in its wake. It now sits by Dead Caney Lake, serving the local community as an ominous reminder of the awesome power of nature. Number 6. The Ghost Ship of Moses Lake, Texas Near Moses Lake, Texas, lies another wrecked fishing trawler that's resting on a sandbank. Located near Texas City, the unfortunate ship is probably another victim of the savage hurricanes that regularly pummel the Texas coast. Although it's been somewhat battered by the elements, it's still in better condition than most shipwrecks in the area, which may indicate that this is a relatively recent wreck. Number 5. Miss Ija's Shipwreck at Surfside Beach, Texas Near the Texas town of Surfside Beach lie the remains of a relatively large fishing ship. Its name, Mis Hijas, which is Spanish for My Daughters, is still clearly visible on the sides of the boat. It ran aground during Hurricane Ike's rampage in 2008. Due to the large size of the ship and its relatively difficult location to access with heavy equipment, the local community has found it impossible to clear away this wreckage. During foggy weather, it creates a great opportunity for photographers to take dramatic pictures and videos. Number 4. Two shipwrecks overgrown with vegetation near Cameron, Louisiana. Near the town of Cameron, Louisiana, lie two wrecked medium-sized fishing trawlers. I would say that they're beached, but I'm afraid that there's no beach to speak of around their final resting place. Instead, they seem to have been tossed into some dense vegetation, probably by one of the many major storms or hurricanes that have slammed into the Louisiana coast in the last few decades. Now these wrecks are doomed to eternal exile, forgotten and almost completely overgrown by nature. Number 3. Shipwrecked freighter on uninhabited island, Louisiana. A large unidentified shipwreck has been spotted on an uninhabited island located about a mile north of Grand Isle, Louisiana. It could possibly be some kind of freighter, but the ship is in such poor condition that it's hard to tell what it once was. Its metal deck has been ripped apart, giving us an interesting look at some of its interior features. Exploring this wreck in person would surely present a challenge to even the most motivated and daring urban explorers. Number 2. Shipwreck at Sabine Pass, Louisiana Near Sabine Pass, Louisiana lies a medium-sized shipwreck, partially buried in the sand. Access to this shipwreck can be tricky for many reasons, not the least of which is the fact that it's completely submerged by the ocean most of the time. Thus, any excursion to this place has to be carefully timed while also taking into account the tides and the weather. Get it wrong and you won't find anything here, just water. Or worse, your 4x4 vehicle could get stuck or sink in the thick mud at the beach, which is practically like quicksand in some areas. Or if you choose to kayak here from the Texas side of the channel instead, and you leave the kayaks too close to the shore, it could easily be swallowed up by the rising ocean tide if you're not careful. However, if everything goes perfect, and you manage to arrive during an exceptionally low tide, then the ocean will retreat, and reveal this beautiful hidden gem. Number 1. World War I Shipwreck near Galveston, Texas the SS Selma is a World War I era shipwreck that lies approximately one mile north of Galveston Island. This ship was originally developed when steel shortages during World War I led the US to build experimental concrete warships, the largest of which was this one, the SS Selma. The SS Selma was built in Mobile, Alabama. However, it was not launched until June 28, 1919, the same day Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles, officially ending World War I. As a result, the 7,500-ton ship never served during the war. Instead, she was placed into service as an oil tanker in the Gulf of Mexico. On May 31st of 1920, the Selma hit a jetty in Tampico, Mexico, ripping a 60-foot gap in her hull. 
After attempts to repair the ship in Galveston failed, and efforts to sell the ship proved unsuccessful, U.S. officials decided to intentionally scuttle the ship. A channel 1,500 feet long and 25 feet deep was dug to a point just off Pelican Island's eastern shoreline, where on March 9, 1922, the ship was laid to rest. Today, the SS Selma lies partially submerged in Galveston Bay and is visible from both the Houston Ship Channel and Sea Wolf Park. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up. Is there something I missed? Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.